Peace of Christ to all. This is chapter 33, verse number 56. It says in Arabic, In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels praying on Muhammad, on the Prophet. Now, if you see the Muslim translation, just to show you how Muslims do lie when they translate, they said, Allah and his angels sending blessing on the Prophet. I challenge any Muslim to show me the word the blessing in here and how the word the blessing came in the translation. This is the word Yusalloon as you see it next to my mouse. Yusalloon, you see it? We will go Yusalloon is some, is simply it's a continued verb. It's a continuous, you know. Uh, so it's not only one time they pray, they always pray on Muhammad. So in here, let us say the Muslims say it's a blessing. If we take the word to the Islamic dictionaries, eight Arabic Islamic dictionaries made by Muslims, approved by Muslims. This is a website, all of you, you know it. Let me go there. It's called Shakir. Shakir is number one software and the top website for translation. Have eight Islamic dictionaries. In the same time, they translate to you what those dictionaries uh, uh, saying from Arabic to English. The word salla have only one meaning. It doesn't mean blessing. It doesn't mean send the blessing. It doesn't mean anything except, as you see, pray. This word, by the way, is not the same as this word. It might look for you the same, but if you see there is uh, uh, valves in the top of it, those change the meaning. This is this is a salah. Salah, which means put somebody in the fire. Okay, this one, this one is salah. It is different, so don't be confused. So this is the word we are talking about, salah. Have one meaning only, pray. No blessing, no such a thing. So the Muslim, when they translate the word pray to blessing, simply they are trying to cover a problem they have in their religion. Now, why this will, will cause them a problem? Because simply, if their God, He never showed Himself in three person, as in Christianity, or two person, how He will explain to me that Allah is praying? If Allah is praying, He is praying to who? Let me explain to you more. If you look in this verse in here, it says, as a translation, that Allah and the angels sending a blessing on the Prophet. Can angels send a blessing? And Allah send a blessing? Which mean, both of them, they can do the same thing? Which mean, it doesn't say in here that Allah, He give a blessing to Muhammad by the angels, and the angels give it to him. No. It says Allah and the angels, both of them, they are doing the same thing in the same time. What is that? Giving blessing. According to the translation, just to show, to, to expose their lie, to show you how we can expose it. If angels can give a blessing, it means angels are God. The only one can give a blessing is God. When I say to someone, bless you, simply I'm saying to you, God bless you. Unless I claim to be God, I, I say, I bless you. When the father he bless his son, I'm talking about like your father, okay, simply he is praying to God to bless you. He's saying to God, this, this is a good son, bless him please. This is the blessing, the blessing always comes from God. So in here, when they say that angels are a blessing too, it's a contradiction for what the word the blessing mean. Now I will show you something else. If you look at this chapter, this is chapter 59, verse number 23. And here you will see most of the names of Allah, by the way. We know that He have 99 names. Uh, it's weird about, uh, you know, we explained before why it's 99. But in here, what we want to show you is something very important. If we read in here, we will see, it says, هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلم المؤمن 
the word al-mu'min it means the believer the believer How Allah can be a believer? If you read the translation, Muslims, to cover the, the problem in the Quran, they did lie in their translation. They said, the guardian of faith. And we will show you in a very easy way that this cannot be true. Simply, we will take the word as it is. Look at it, Al-Mu'minu, to the dictionary. And you will see, you will get two words in there. They are close to each other, but they are different. This one is not the same one as this. So the liar who, tra who translate, he took Mu'ammin instead of Mu'min and he translate. Mu'min mean religious, a believer. And this is different word. This is Mu'ammin and this is this is Mu'min, sorry. And this is Mu'ammin. And all who speak Arabic, he knew what I'm talking about. And this is their Islamic dictionary, not mine. Shakir. And you can co go and compare between this word and the word in the Quran and this word and the word in the Quran and you will see that this is the one fit with the word in the Quran, not this one. I will zoom in this one and I will zoom in the, in the verse in the Quran so you can see by yourself that they are liars when you translate. The meaning of the word mu'min, it means the believer or religious. So if you ask Muslim, Allah is mu'min or a believer in what? How, how he is God but he is a believer they can't play with it don't worry in the same time if we go with their translation they are saying the guardian of faith isn't it you Muslims say that Allah he sent 124,000 prophets and all of them their books is corrupted what kind of guardian of faith he is when he could not guard anything each time he sent a book Satan kick his butt and corrupt the book he is a guardian of faith this is a guardian of faith. This is a failure guardian. No security company will hire him ever. If you post your resume and you have during your job time 124,000 robbery or corruption or a fraud and you have only one according to Muslims, only the Quran is not corrupted. Who is going to accept you? Let's continue. If Allah is God Chapter 16, verse number 63. How Allah, he swear by Allah, say, By Allah we also sent our prophets to the people before thee. The point in here, if Allah is God, and there is only one Allah, how Allah, swearing by Allah, and remember, he is not saying, I swear by me, which doesn't make sense anyway, like, swear by me, <laughs> you know. Go on. He's saying, I swear by Allah. Why Allah swear by Allah if he is Allah? How many Allah you have? If you go and read in uh, 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 different translation they, they are translating the word I swear by Allah is saying I swear by God let us see this is a Jalalain and this is the Muslim translation and explanation by God we verily sent to community before you messengers Allah is swearing by God so who is Allah You know, if the one is speaking in the Quran is Allah, the one who made this verse cannot be Allah. It has to be someone else saying, I swear by Allah that we send prophets. But Allah himself is swearing by Allah that he sent a prophet. This is really funny. You don't talk about yourself saying, I swear by Allah if you are Allah, you will say, at least I swear by me, right? And, you know, there is no, doesn't make sense anyway that God is swearing. Swearing by who? By himself. And by the way, the God of Quran, Quran he, swear, he swear by the olive, swear by the fig, swear by the city. You know, he's very confused. One verse he say, I don't swear. And other verse he say, I swear. So you swear, you don't swear. Hello? Are you? 
Can you stop playing games? And here Allah is swearing by Allah. So this is my question in this video to the Muslims. If Allah is Allah, how he swear by Allah? Thank you. Christ is Lord, Islam for dummy, made by a dummy, I mean.